Good evening. This is Susan, and this is Susan's Ramblings. This is what I've been working on for the past several weeks. We are getting ready for art camps that I am organizing, that I organize every summer, for both the art center, for the arts, yeah, the art center, and the museum that we have, local museum that we have. This year, one of the day, one of the camps are going to be to be to be focusing on clay. So these are all the clay flowers I have been making. Um, we have younger kids. Yes, they will be taught how to do this, but we also have younger kids that will not be able to do that many of them. So I'll have these made up so they can use them. Anyway, those are the different flowers. Every time I get a chance to sit down. And it doesn't take much to do them. And you do maybe half a dozen of them. You can tell the difference in there. We've got some that are dry and some that aren't dry. So some of them were done a little bit earlier. Some of them were done today. We sat there without electricity for over an hour and a half today. I was beginning to wonder here. I have no idea what went wrong. But, um, you know, when it goes off and it stays off, yeah, you begin to wonder and you begin to wonder to think of how you can uh, survive. Makes me, makes me um, even more apt to finish up my canning and cleaning out my freezers so I don't have, so I don't lose that food. Anyway, those are the, some of the things I've been working on. Some of the clay things that we've been doing. We've been doing other things with clay, making other samples, but this happens to be right here. I just happened to finish it, so this is what you see. Um, now i got to see if I can put it down somewhere so I don't lose them. Okay, today was grocery delivery day for me. I didn't get very much, expensive as heck. But I did get some things to go in the dehydrators. In fact, most of, I think most of the stuff goes in dehydrators. Um, first of all, I have these mini peppers. I love these mini peppers. Um, yeah, I, I love them. We eat them just raw. Um, these I think I'm going to, some of these I'm going to stuff. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to dehydrate them or freeze them yet probably dehydrate them and then when I dehydrate them I will make sure they're really dry and then I will powder them so you have the powder that can go in anything that's I got two packages of those they were on sale for $2.99 and uh, you got to remember I'm a local grocery store I'm not Walmart or Kruger's or Aldi's or any of those other places I'm just a plain old local, one and only grocery store. So I paid two ninety nine for them, and they were uh, a sound sale for and I, I they are regularly three dollars and ninety nine cents. I got them for two dollars and ninety nine cents. So I got two of them. I got blueberries. I got four pints of blueberries. I love blueberries. I go through blueberries really fast. Um, these, I don't know yet what I'm going to do. These will be put in the freezer to begin with. I'm probably just kept there. But, uh, blueberry cobble, cobbler, uh, blueberry muffins, blueberry pancakes, blueberry everything. Anyway, these were, uh, the price, regular price would have been, uh, four dollars and eighty nine cents I got them for two and a half <coughs> each one were two and a half okay hash brown potatoes they're going in the dehydrator just as soon as we finish here um they were let me see if I can find them here hash brown potatoes um Can't find them. They're here somewhere. Oh, here we go. Hash brown potatoes. 
I got them for two sixty nine. They were uh, three dollars and eighty nine cents regular price. So I got a dollar and twenty cents off. Okay. Um. Let's see. What else did I get? Green onions. I love the green onions. I will use them all the time. They were going in the dehydrator. And I I love I love green onions. It gives you just the or spring onions or whatever they call them. It gives you uh extra oomph, extra taste. They again they were on sale. In fact I think everything I got was on sale this week and I don't buy anything now unless it's on sale because I can't afford it. Anyway, my price there were uh, green onions. I got three of them for two dollars. And it would have come to two thirty seven so all I saved was thirty seven cents there, but thirty seven cents is thirty seven cents. Next thing I got that I'm really excited about bacon. Now I don't buy much bacon anymore. Uh and this is sixteen ounces too. Can you imagine? Sixteen ounces of bacon. I paid four dollars and ninety nine cents, I believe. But I saved three dollars too, so they were were originally seven dollars, seven dollars and ninety nine cents each dollar. So I saved about half there. I got two of them. I will uh, they go in the I will um, uh, let's say they go in the freezer. I will cut them into um, thirds probably because I don't use that much bacon. I use it just to um just to flavor the food, okay? So that's what we'll do there. Okay. Another thing I got were freezer bags. <coughs> Excuse me. Freezer bags. 80, 80 freezer bags. And um, our family, of course, that's my thing. But they were six ninety nine, and I also got they were. Uh, I gotta find them in here. I hate this. I should do it. Marked down with four dollars and sixty cents, so that would have made it ten dollars uh, ten. For ten, but sixty. Ten dollars and fifty cents about. Is what I would have paid regularly. I paid six ninety nine for eighty of them, and they're the freezer ones. This is one thing. Another thing I'm really proud of. They had macaroni or pasta on sale on sale for eighty nine cents a piece. So I got two macaroni. I got one. I don't know what you call it. Okay, I got them. I got one bow tie. And I got one elbow. Now these things, this one surprised me. This is an elbow. Of course, I guess not. I shouldn't surprise me so much. The elbows were 16 a pound a piece. The other ones were only 12 ounces a piece. But... You know, the flour is running out. So, uh, yeah, they're telling us you can't get the wheat from Russia. India also cut off their wheat. Uh, we got a drought going on in the United States. And not only a drought, the fertilizers. Uh, takes a lot of fertilizer to make them. And so, uh, we're looking at a wheat, wheat um, shortage along the line. So get all the pasta you can get. But anyway, the elbow macaroni gave me a discount of one dollar and ten cents. And the other ones were a discount of ninety-six cents. But anyway, that's what my grocery list grocery thing was for today. Not much. But Every little bit helps, I guess. Uh, 
Well, I don't know. You got to have your potatoes. They're taking everything away from us. You know that? They got cheap, this cheap stuff, what the people live on. They've taken away the chicken. They've taken away the eggs. Uh, you have cheap meats and meats. Uh, now they're taking away the flour. Taking away potatoes. We even got formulas for the babies, baby formulas. Computer chips and everything runs on computer chips now. Aluminum foil, aluminum, the shortage of that. Shortage of gasoline, shortage of diesel fuel. Shortage of everything. Every time we turn around, there's another shortage, isn't there? But what gets me is the baby formula and the potatoes were shipped off to Mexico. Well, we need them here. Uh, yeah, doesn't make sense, does it? So now they're going to import the baby formula from, I don't know where, from other countries. And they're going to use our military jets to get them over here. Now that really makes sense, doesn't it? So we're paying for formula from another company, from another country. And we're using our military to bring them over here, back over here, so we can feed our children, our babies, who are completely innocent in this whole mess. Doesn't make much sense, does it? Potatoes, they announced they got a potato shortage, and the next day they announced they were sending the potatoes to Mexico. First time they sent tomato, potatoes to Mexico in 25 years. I'm sorry, people are hungry over here. We need the potatoes here. That's all I'm going to say on that. I get me started on it. I won't stop. Okay, that's my grocery thing for today. I have some online stuff coming this week. We'll get to that when it comes. Uh, it'll be Friday and Saturday. I hope you had a good week. We had a good week. We had a good weekend, a busy weekend. We had family here all the time. And so it's always nice when you have family. God bless you. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.